Piano, violins, flutes, French horns, just waiting to sing out with music. Now, each one of these makes a magnificent sound on its own, but put them together, and something amazing happens. One becomes two, and two become three until the sounds add up to equal one new sound, the sound of an orchestra, as you will see and hear in this book, Zin, 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 a violin. Zin, 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 a violin by Lloyd Moss. Illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. Read by Gregory Hines. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone gliding sliding high notes go low one trombone is playing so low next a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song it joins trombone no more alone and one and two oh uh, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled, golden yellow joins its fellows. Two, now three oh, what a trio. Now a mellow friend, the cello. Neck extended, bows, a uh, hello. End pins set upon the floor. It makes up a quartet that's four. And soaring high and moving in with zin, 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 a violin. Stroking strings that come alive, now quintet. Let's count them. Five. Flute that sends our soul a shiver. Flute that slender, silver sliver. A place among the set it picks to make a young sextet that's six. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick. A sleek, black, woody clarinet is number seven, now septet. Gleeful, bleating, sobbing, pleading. Through its throbbing double reading, oboe, please don't hesitate. Come, make it an octet. That's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down. We're laughing soon. Here, Grumpy, get your place in line and give us a no net. That's nine. The harp descends with angels' wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others then, behold, a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes in the hall. They're on the stage. We see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet. The trumpet, whom we've also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready.
Now, begin! The strings all soar. The reeds implore. The brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly. The music ends. And so goodbye to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout, encore, they may come back and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night. Duos, trios, quartets, septets. These are all different ways of grouping musical instruments. And when musicians play together in large groups, like an orchestra, they need a conductor to lead them. Now, the person who wields this baton... And this baton is my baton. Oh, oh maestro, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? This is Eugene Becker, and he is the conductor of the Juilliard Pre-College Chamber Orchestra. And this is, as I'm sure you've guessed by now, his baton. Wow. The person who holds this baton really is in control. And I am in control. You are the man. So what are we rehearsing today, Gene? We need a little rehearsal on the Haydn Surprise Symphony second movement, LeVar. I'll get out of your way. See you later, Lon. Okay. An orchestra is a group of 20, 40, 60, 120 highly trained musicians. Orchestra is like totally teamwork, so it's like the one person, like the, each person is important, but they have to be together. It's like a puzzle, and you have to be one of the little pieces. The conductor is the person who puts all the pieces to the puzzle together. Schubert, please. Schubert, last movement. Nice, easy tempo. Ooh, ooh. The role of the conductor really is to supervise every note that the members of the orchestra play. To play them together, that's the word ensemble, and everybody must play together at exactly the same moment in the same time, and the same tempo, meaning speed of beat. And that's what a conductor is for. He, he makes you stay together. If you look at him, oh, he's always oh. struggling to make you keep together. I remember the conductor telling me that you have to look at your music, but with the corner of your eye, you have to also be watching them because you have to see when he gives cues, like when he tells you to play. And if there's like a really, really hard and tricky part, he will tell you what to do. He will tell you. Very good. It's much better. Little faster. Almost tempo. Da, 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 da. Is the conductor the coach, or the general, or the friend, or the teacher, or the enemy? And you know the answer is all of those things. <laughs>